I've got caught doing something I shouldn't have. NASCAR has literally stolen Kevin Harvick's crown at the much-anticipated Talladega Super Speedway. Leading until the final laps, he was overtaken by Roger Penske's driver to finish second at Talladega Super Speedway, and to add insult to injury, Kevin Harvick's P2 position was nullified when his car failed to pass the post-race inspection. The reason? The windshield fasteners on Harvick's Ford were not secure. The oversight led to Harvick's disqualification, placing him last in the 38-car field. While Kevin Harvick or Tony Stewart has not yet made a public comment on the matter, another member of Tony Stewart's team has openly come out to face the stern judgment of NASCAR. Harvick's nail-biting loss to Blaney at Talladega Super Speedway in what was one of the closest finishes saw him maintain his lead patiently until lap 161. He held this position, poised for his 61st career victory until the last moments. The race marked the end of Super Speedway events in Harvick's career, a journey filled with significant wins including the 2007 Daytona 500 and a 2010 victory at Talladega. His disqualification by NASCAR officials came after the discovery of loose windshield fasteners on his number 4 Stuart Haas Racing Ford, indicating a loose glass as well. The violation of NASCAR rulebook sections 14.5.6.2.F windshield and 14.1.E and P overall assembled vehicle rules led to his disqualification causing Kevin Harvick to forfeit all race acquired stage points. The updated top 10 finishers from Sunday's race now include Ryan Blaney, William Byron, Denny Hamlin, Corey LaJoy, Austin Sindrick, Justin Haley, Chase Elliott, Ryan Priest, Riley Herbst, and Daniel Suarez. While SHR has the option to appeal the penalty, there's no indication of such action as of Sunday night. This incident marks the year's first Cup Series team disqualification, the most recent being Brad Keselowski at Martinsville Speedway in the final race of the 2022 season. Rodney Childers, Harvick's crew chief, explained the situation on social media, stating, There have been times I've got caught doing something I shouldn't have. Today got DQ'd for the car buffering in the draft all day and some windshield bolts vibrating out. My guys had silicon on the threads and gobbed on the tip, still came out. Not sure what else we could do. However, had Harvick not been disqualified, it would undoubtedly have been one of the closest finishes ever in NASCAR history. The two racers crossed the finish line with an incredibly slim margin of just 0.012 seconds. However, this isn't the tightest finish NASCAR has seen. In fact, 17 races have boasted even closer finishes than Kevin Harvick and Blaney's recent duel. Throughout NASCAR history, there have been 60 races where the finishing margin was below the one second mark. The record for the closest finish remains at 0.002 seconds, achieved in a race between Ricky Craven and Kurt Busch in 2003 at Darlington. The widest margin to make the list of close finishes was 0.098 seconds in a race between Chris Buescher and Brad Keselowski in August 20, 23 at Daytona. Due to Harvick's recent disqualification, his name won't join this list of closest finishes. However, all eyes are on Kevin Harvick and his team to see if they decide to appeal the penalty. The four drivers lowest in the points without a win, and therefore now most in danger of being eliminated from the playoffs with one race remaining in this round are Kyle Busch, Bubba Wallace, Ross Chastain, and Tyler Reddick. During the post-race press conference, a reporter asked Blaney if he was thinking about the possibility of Harvick's last chance at a victory while racing against him in the final laps. The race at Talladega marked Harvick's final super speedway race in his career since he would be retiring from the sport at the end of the season. Subsequently, Blaney responded, no, no, he's another competitor at that point. I mean, that's really the only thing you're thinking about. So yeah, another race. It was super fun to race with him, drag it out to the end down the front stretch with him. Blaney continued saying, I apologize to some fans who had a shirt on after the race I saw in victory lane. Sorry, I beat your guy. Just another competitor at that point. Blaney's response was understandable since in the heat of the competition, no matter who is beside you and what it may mean to them, it is upon the driver to extract the most to win the race and secure those important points to move ahead. With this win in the bag, Blaney has now safely secured himself in the round of eight with just one more race remaining ahead of the eliminations. But what's your take on the post-race inspection disqualifying Kevin Harvick? Do you believe the Stuart Haas racing team will appeal the penalty? And how significant do you believe these windshield fasteners truly are in the larger scope of racing? Leave your comments down below to join the conversation. If you appreciate this deep dive into the dramatic turn of events at Talladega Super Speedway, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more updates.